Yeah, man. Like, you know, I saw on your Instagram, you've got this thing with uh, a blue cone. Oh, that. <laughs> Is that one of the birds or just one of yours? Um, Is that one of your things? So my bro, um, my bro, Gary Salipa, he's a, um, he's a street artist and he does, um, he does this festival out in GI. It's called, uh, the Bradley Lane Project. And they do like, um, every year invites five artists to Glen Innes and they have a festival where, um, the artists paint murals on the buildings in the town center. And over the years, I think there's like 47 murals there or some, something like that. Yeah. And um, he invited me to come there. I met him at an op shop. And um, we were like, we were trying to buy the art books. And I and <laughs> he'd already cleaned out the shop over the years, I think. <laughs> there, was, yeah. there wasn't much left. Yeah, it's all in the studio, all the art books. So um, he he invited me to be one of the artists for the for the Bradley Lane Project. So I was like, my one of my one of my like i think all artists should have um you shouldn't just be an artist there's got to be some like subject matter like what are you actually passionate about and my my thing that i realized that i was really passionate about outside of street art was um like space exploration and um humans becoming a multi-planet species that's like my like I think if I could if I could if I could contribute towards something in the real real long term like leave a legacy that would be my like thing that I'd want to um add towards so I was like how do I paint that so I was like I'm gonna do an op shop on Mars because so <laughs> it was like merging this two things so yeah. I met him at the op shop and I was like I'll do an op shop on Mars so um I was like painting this op shop on Mars and then um, he he cones off the wall. Like he puts all these road cones around the wall when you're painting mm -hmm. so that the people can't come up and like nick your paint or like um, yeah. get too close. Just keeps it a bit safer. Like just mm -hmm. feels more like orderly with the barrier and then you're on one side and they're over there and you can like, you know, they feel a bit more respect. They can't just get up in your space. Um, so anyway, I was like, I had this orange background on the wall because it was Mars and you couldn't see the road cone. And I was like, oh, right. You're not going to be able to see road cones on Mars. So I was like, I painted one of the road cones blue yeah. and that was that was when I invented the um, the Mars road cone. So it's like a, um, when they're building the cities on Mars, like they're first building the colonies and stuff, well, they're going to need them for the whole the whole thing, right? Um, you can't see a you can't see an orange road cone on a red planet, so you're gonna need some blue road cones. <laughs> and then um, I took it a step further, and I was like, okay, how do I make this even better? So I was like, it's it's called um, Mars Obelisk, and it's like a um, it's like a like a like a sculpture, like it's gonna evolve, it's gonna evolve over time from being just the um just the martian road cone yeah into like being this sort of um like a like a full-on like sculptural like thing that they build in the middle of the um of the martian city as like a memorial <laughs> to the building of the city <laughs> and it'll be called the mars obelisk and i want to get this sent with the first colony that lands on mars to build that first city this is my like contribution to the mission so I'm hoping I can somehow figure out, like through the Mars Society or something, like, hey, like you got to send this Mars obelisk yeah. with the colonists. <laughs> like this is the this is the um, this is the flagpole. Like, yeah. This is how you this is how you say this the this is the middle of the city. There is people that what 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 you call them? The people that do this, the Mars, the Mars Society. Yeah, is it? There's such thing. Oh, this is a real society. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I can imagine. It's founded by a guy called um, Robert Zubrin. So he's like um, founder of the Mars Society, and he designed this. Um, is he in America? Yeah, yeah. They so they first they had the um they the first Mars mission design they had was they're like we'll build this massive ship in space, 
and it'll have all this food and fuel and everything to go all the way to Mars and then land on the surface of Mars and then you'll have all the fuel that you need to like then lift off again from Mars and then fly back to Earth. And it's huge. It's like a, a stupid, like fucking insane. And then he came up with this new mission architecture of let's go light. Let's go like the same way that the that settlers go or like like travelers go where you live off the land. So let's go to Mars with a really light ship and you land and when you land your tanks are now empty and then you have to like filter some Martian atmosphere and the water on Mars and make your rocket fuel there to refuel your rocket to come back to fly back. Yeah. So he he founded the Mars Society and that's like um that's like the the birth of like the people who want to like colonize Mars. Mm. And then there's like all this other all this other cool shit that they talk about. <laughs> but um it's funny cuz I, I was just talking about this in another podcast where we're talking about um when there's a supernova like humans have to get off this get get off the solar system one day if we have, if yeah. humans ever make it yeah so the, i think it's a billion years they said till we get a supernova it's pretty far away isn't it yeah but i don't know if humans will even last that long but you know if we do if we have, we have to find a way to get off the solar system but then i don't know if you read a lot of um cuz i read a lot of what's his name the black um, astrophysicist what's his name neil degrasse tyson neil degrasse tyson that's him. And he talks about how the next, the next, the next obstacle is when the next uh, galaxy collides with our galaxy. The Andromeda galaxy yeah. will crash into It'll crash the into Milky us. Way. Yeah. yeah. So, what we're we gonna do then if we ever make it that far? So that was all interesting. 